So here's a problem where we're asked to calculate the break-even point in dollars. Uh, it says Jesse Company has a unit selling price of 302, variable cost per unit of $126, fixed cost of $169,000. Compute the break-even point in dollars. Let's go ahead and plug in all the information that we know just to get it nice and easy to see. Unit selling price was 302, and the variable cost per unit was 126. So in order to calculate the break-even point in units, we need to take our total fixed cost, which we know is 169,000, and divide that by our contribution margin ratio. Okay, well, I'm not given that. I have to calculate that. How do we calculate contribution margin ratio? Take the contribution margin per unit, divide it by the unit sales price. Okay, how do I calculate the contribution margin per unit? Hopefully you remember it's the sales price minus the variable cost per unit. So we've got 302 will be my sales price. Variable cost per unit was 126. So if I take 302 minus, excuse me, the variable cost per unit 126, that's $176 contribution margin per unit. That means after they pay for the variable cost, they now have $176 for every unit sold to cover their fixed costs and net income. So now I can calculate my contribution margin ratio pretty easily. Take the contribution margin per unit, which is 70, 176. Divide that by my sales price of 302. And that tells me my contribution margin ratio is, ah, it's not a dollar. Let's fix that. give us some 0.583 that is the equivalent of 58.3 percent contribution margin ratio remember when you convert to a percentage you always move the decimal place two spaces to the right so that is the equivalent of 58.3 percent um, so now we can just divide the 169,000 by that point 583 and that will give me tell me how many units I need to sell to break even I'm sorry dollars I need to do two hundred eighty nine thousand nine hundred eighty nine dollars in sales in order just to break even that's my break even point